Most people haven't experienced acupuncture. It is very powerful. So acupuncture is using very fine needles, they're as fine as a hair, that are inserted into very specific places in the body to the cause of the problem, to the root of the problem, which sometimes you can't get in, in there with your elbows or your fists or your fingers. In order to be a really good acupuncturist, you need to know exactly what's actually going on underneath the skin, what the structures of the body are. I've done dissection, so I've had a look underneath the skin, at the digestive system, at the urinary tract, at the reproductive system, at the spine and the neck, and all the muscular system as well, what, what goes on there, what attaches to what. I've also studied electroacupuncture, which is where we use a machine like a TENS machine, attach the electrodes to the end of the acupuncture needles to stimulate the points to make a treatment much more powerful. I'm a bit of a baby to pain, even though I've had three children, um, but I was very nervous of having acupuncture myself, so I had to ease into it very gently. So I'm very aware of people that are nervous uh, with needles. And for those people, we can often do acupressure, which is using your thumbs or an elbow or just pressure on the pressure points, the acupoints, instead of using needles. But once people trust their therapist, they may well allow the odd needle. So a combination of acupuncture, massage and manipulation, and then if necessary, bringing the herbal medicine in as well, means that there's a very high percentage chance of, of fixing all sorts of problems.